Uh, uh, there you go. Thanks. Just make sure not to move it too much. It okay. will be annoying for everyone watching the stream. And if it's touching the yellow, that means it's good. Uh, Hi, stream. Hello, stream. Hello. <clears throat> okay, so let's get started. All right, so if you're interested in presenting, please sign up. So this is the link to sign up for presentations. So it's going to be presentations.ritsec.club. If you're looking for any ideas of what you, want, you might want to present on, please visit ideas.ritsec.club. There's a huge compilation of um, research ideas and presentation ideas. So please, even if you don't have um, any idea what you want to research on or any um, presentation ideas, this will be a great resource. Also, I want to remind everyone that there is free research swag per presentation that you present at RITSEC. So lanyard, you know, flash drive, lockpick set, pad folio, water bottle, and the YubiKey plus the USB rubber ducky. Great stuff. Announcements. So make, make sure that you're signed in and uh, make sure you sign in if you haven't already at signin.ritsec.club. Make sure you're on the Discord. It's like, I believe it's week eight of the academic semester. Please, please join. We have all of our stuff there. So um, make sure you're on that. Keep, it, keep you updated. Join our interest groups. All that fun stuff. We have our calendar. Uh, that's going to have all of our events listed on a really neat and nice Google Calendar. I highly recommend joining that. And the mailing list as well. It's a nicer, cleaner format if you check your email every day. Um, it lists our speakers, our education topic, as well as interest group information. Also, if you have any feedback for the club, any uh, questions or concerns that you might have that you can't really express to us, this is an anonymous feedback form for the RIT Sub Club in general. We do not record any emails. This is completely 100% anonymous. Um, if you have any questions, please fill this out. Questions or concerns. Also, uh, the GSIS will be holding a Halloween spooktacular party on October 29th. Uh, I believe that's going to be a Friday. Um, so yeah, it's a lot of fun. I'm pretty sure every GSIS student got an email about it. Uh, make sure you RSVP and all that fun stuff. RITSEC will also be there. So, you know, little costume party, right? <laughs> And RITSEC merch. Uh, if you haven't, um, we're, oh, so RITSEC is doing another merch run. So this is going to be fresh merch. So these sweaters, we're going to be selling for, um, for sale around $35, I believe, and also RITSEC t-shirts. So please sign up. Um, this, will, this form will close in two weeks. Two weeks. Anybody else need to sign up? No? OK, I think we're good. And lastly, Clap it up for our sponsors. Woo! All right. Awesome. Sounds good. Sounds good. And also follow our social media. The IRSEC photos have been posted. So if you want to take a look at the photos from IRSEC and all the competition photos, check out our social media. Okay, so we're gonna doing uh, we're gonna be doing another short news section this week. Um, so we got three stories for you today. So we got Apple uh, updates iOS again, Windows Patch Tuesday with a lot of uh, CVEs and vulnerabilities that are really cool, really awesome, and also um, the three-letter alphabet soup government organizations released a alert for water facilities in the U.S. because they were hit by ransomware. Very fun stuff. Okay, so first up, we're gonna cover the um, Apple's uh, Apple updating iOS again. Um, so what Apple did was issue a, a slight patch into um, iOS 15.0.2. Um, this was because another critical vulnerability was discovered in um, the IO mobile frame buffer function for the um, iOS kernel. So this is gonna be both both of the mobile operating systems, so iOS and iPadOS. So they didn't disclose much of the vulnerability, but 
The flaw can be executed to exploited to execute commands with kernel level privileges. And um, so yeah, make sure you update your phone. Please, please, please make sure you update your phone. I think that's been a reoccurring topic for some of the presentations, right? If you guys remember earlier weeks, right, with the uh, Pegasus and NSO group. So make sure you keep on updating your iPhone. Um, so again, there has been a detailed uh, analysis and a proof of concept has been published. So please, please, please update your phone. Next up, uh, we're going to talk about Windows Patch Tuesday that occurred this week. So we're going to talk about just the two uh, main vulnerabilities that were disclosed um, this week. So that's going to be um, this CV uh, flaw in Network Virtualization Service Provider um, that allows you to execute code on the target machine. And it's been rated a 9.9 .9 out of 10 on the CVE score. So each vulnerability has its own CVE score, um, which kind of uh, describes the severity and easiness of the exploit. So being a 9.9 .9 out of 10, this is a very severe exploit, which means that you get remote unauthenticated uh, code execution, as well as um, it is very easy to exploit. So if you guys remember something like zero logon um, from earlier this year, or I believe it was earlier this year or last year, um, zero logon was rated a 10 out of 10 on the CVE score. So a little quick recap, zero logon is where you just send um, very, very basic terms. You just send null bytes and you'll, you'll be able to log in to a user. So yeah, this, these, uh, this vulnerability is pretty bad. <laughs> um, so again, this other, the second vulnerability we're going to talk about, uh, which was a Hyper-V vulnerability and allowed remote code execution and also had the same severity of um, the, one of the CV above. So this is the uh, Win32K uh, process. It's a little complex. I didn't quite too understand it, so I'm not going to talk about that yet. But there was also a lot of other uh, vulnerabilities that were discovered, and that's all been patched. So there was another one that had an uh, Excel remote code execution, which, which scored like an 8.8. .8. So yeah, make sure you update your Windows systems as well. OK, lastly, we're going to talk about the three-letter organizations issuing an alert. Um, so uh, it was issued by the FBI, CISA, EPA, and the NSA. Uh, the, these attacks were pretty old. Um, the ones that they disclosed on the news article that I read were pretty old, so from like March. Um, the most recent one was uh, last, or sorry, two months ago in August. Um, they were launched by both known and unknown threat actors against the IT and OT. Uh, networks for water facilities. So OT networks standing for operational technology. That's going to be your industrial control systems, ICS, and SCADA, uh, sensor control. I forget the acronym. SCADA. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to quickly describe one incident. So back in my hometown, Nevada, it's probably Vegas. Yeah, it's probably Vegas. Uh, one incident which occurred in March, uh, cyber criminals used unknown ransomware to target water facilities in Nevada. Uh, the malware affected SCADA and backup systems, but the agencies noted that this... Oh, my. Okay. Sorry for the delay. Okay. All right, let's get back to it. So um, agencies noted that the SCADA systems only provided monitoring and visibility capabilities, and it was not a full industrial control system. So these breaches were not really disclosed to um, a very detailed level, so we don't know the full extent of the um, damage that the ransomware um, caused. But this is a really reoccurring theme in um, OT networks. So a lot of um, industrial control, like OT networks are very, becoming very vulnerable because they're making this whole switch to um, the using the internet, wireless, cloud, all the buzzwords. But it's the one thing that's, uh, cert for certain is um, OT networks are a huge, um, they're very, they're, they're huge um, playing field for vulnerabilities and attacks and um, a lot of, we can't ignore the importance of those types of networks. Okay, and uh, that's going to conclude the news. Thank you.
Okay, and next up, we're gonna have Elijah with Cyber Warfare. Give a round of applause. <laughs> 